Hello everyone, this, I'm Grant Burgess and I'm at, we're at Eastwood Golf Course in Fort Myers, Florida here. Um, I'm with Bob Hughes here, he's my, one of my fellow employees, but he said he needed a little work on his chipping today, so we're just going to be working on the basic chip and run here, which is a very short swing, but um, I'm going to ask you a few questions here, Bob, to begin with. What do you kind of, when you're hitting this shot, what do you kind of struggle with most? Well, frequently I, I, I top them or skull them. School them, so just yeah. the consistency of the contact a little yeah, bit. Right, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, and then like say like when and you do distance too. Like that's what I was gonna say. So like say when you do hit a good one, like is it usually longer, shorter, or sometimes it's shorter. Shorter, shorter so yeah. we're not not the distance. All yeah. right. So let's uh, let's let's have Bob hit. Uh, let's just hit a few to begin here with, and then we'll and we'll kind of get going. Let's see what I see here. All right, that one about 10 feet past the pin there, so that was a little hard, but we got the contact pretty good. So just hit a couple more here. And direction, I guess I should okay, work yep. on. So we'll, we'll work on that a little bit. And just hit one more here, and then we'll kind of get going into it. Right, now all those, we actually the contact wasn't too bad. We hit them all right, but they all went very far, as you, as yeah, you see. Right. You can't see it on the camera here, but all those went about 10, 15 feet by the pin here. So, I think what I see the most with you, Bob, is a little bit. When we swing through, the back swing's all right. We're taking it about the right length back. It's not going too far back. It maybe could be a touch shorter because that's kind of the thing. But right now, what I'm seeing is we we come into it. Once we get to here, we really get, we rush it and we get really quick through here and we kind of and we're kind of hitting at it rather than rather than just swinging through smoothly and kind of keeping those hands moving. Bob, has, when he gets into it, he has a tendency to stop those hands moving and then just flip his wrist kind of a little bit. And then that really can send the ball sailing because it's kind of a really quick jerky motion rather than the smoothness through it. So what I'd like to have the Bob do is he's really not going to change the backswing too much. He's gonna You're going to take it back this about the same length going back. But when you go through, I'd like you to see, keep those hands just keep accelerating a little more smoothly through it rather than just getting to the ball and stopping. I'd like to see him when you finish, have those hands kind of finish out in front of this left thigh here if possible. Because right now, when we go ahead, go ahead, right now, we'll go ahead and grip it. Right now, when we finish, our hands only end up pretty much right in front of this thigh here. And we'd like to have him finishing it just a little farther out there, keeping those hands moving. And that should keep the club just traveling a little better. So let's hit a couple more there. That's all right, and it's, and it's going to take a few swing cause, or a few shots because you're just—it's a new motion and you're working on something. So just get those hands finishing a little, swing them through a little more. There we go. You see how much softer that came off too? Yeah. It didn't come off with all the steam on it. It was much more controlled, so that was that was much better. Does that feel good? Good. Yeah. All right. So they, he'd probably swing him through a little more, but he was pretty good on that one. So let's just hit a few more here. There we go. Three in a row there. Perfect distance pretty much. What do you think, Bob? you have any questions so far on no, that? No, I, I think if I could hit him like that when I play the game, I'd be in great shape. All right, so let's just hit a couple more to that one. Just working on that feel there. Very good. And then we'll kind of, and then we'll switch up the target a little bit and just go to maybe a little farther one, just to see the difference in this. It's like it's not ch changing too much, but. But still, that's not even as long as those first ones, though. You know, that yeah. was hit hard, and that still didn't go as far. So, do one more there, and then let's take a take a little pause here. I like that. That's very good. So let's, let's change it up a little bit. Let's, actually, let's go to that. Let's see that pin all the way down at the end there. We're, what, what's when, it's going to be about another 10 or 15 yards farther. So let's, yeah. let's, let's actually switch up the clubs here because that's, that's a very important part to, when, we're doing our, when we're doing chipping because my, my philosophy is I like to keep the same swing or stroke for the each, each chip shot, but really the only thing you're going to change is the, the club selection. So basically you're going to be making the exact same swing 
touch farther back, but you're still going to swing through the same. And it, really, just by changing the lock, he's going from a pitching wedge to a nine iron. It's just going to run a little more than the pitching wedge would, and it should get all the way to the pin there. So. so that one, that was a little hard. Yep. And, that was, and on that one, we got a little, we got a little more jerky on that one, rather than just nice and smooth swinging through. Yeah. Yeah. got the perfect distance on that one. He wasn't quite on the line there. We'll talk about that right at the end here, just a little bit. But really, with, with chipping, it, the most important part is the distance control. Because even if you're five feet to the right of the pin, if you have the right distance, you're going to be five feet. But if you're yeah. five feet offline and 10 feet short, now you're 15 feet away. And you're a lot and the, you're a lot worse off. So really, the most important part is chipping. So it's you got to make sure we're make, making the right backswing length and we're swinging through all right. And then direction becomes, you just got to work on that a little. Starters now ready for the Don Party, along with the single player Thomas to the first tee, please. Don Party and Thomas to the first tee, thank you. There you go, I get that just a little bit. Just a little behind it. Yeah, we didn't quite keep this hand swinging through. But still get those hands finishing out in front of the thigh there. See how the face is kind of pointing more to the ground here right now? Yeah. You want to get it to where this toe is just pointing a little more up to the sky and this face is kind of pointing more up to the sky as well when you go back. And that, so then you take it back like that and then when you come through, either you're going to hit it how you want and it's going to go left or then you end up kind of manipulating that face and leaving it out to the right. So okay. just when you go back, just get that face just opening a little more and then you can get just go ahead and swing through how you want. That's perfect there. You can make that putt. That's Where's awesome. Where's Jordan Speak now? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so you, hear, you heard it from him. It doesn't take much. I mean, chipping, you just got to have the right idea in motion, and it just takes practice from that point. How are we doing on time? That's a little strong. But I hit it well. You know, it's just, just a little, little, little quick going through. I think that's the biggest thing I see for you, Bob. It's, Really, the pace, the pace, because when you get when you get to here and then you get jerky or kind of rush it through, then it's tough to get the distance right each time. You got to make it to where it's just a little more controllable. So. Bob, you got any questions for me so far? Or? Well, no, the uh, uh, instructions you gave me as far as taking the club back, turning that club a little bit. Yeah, so for you, it's, it's really just the backswing length. It's just a little shorter back on each of them, and then just making sure you open that face a little bit going through. And then you just, a little strong. Then you just got to make sure you keep those hands accelerating, because if you stop those hands, then you get a little jerky, and that's when you rush it. So let's hit one more here to finish, and then we'll wrap it up. Great one in on there, Bob. How'd that feel? Good. Good. Yeah. All right. Perfect. What, what's right? I Thank enjoyed it. Yes. And we'll wrap it up. That's a wrap. All right. I could probably edit off that last. <laughs>